Do you see that? Hello beautiful! Today we will be looking at the entire Gucci makeup line. So everything that has been newly released or everything that is new from the Gucci makeup line we will be looking at and we will also be trying every single thing on. So if you are interested in how any of the Gucci products work, just keep watching. We're first gonna start off with the serum. I feel like this looks kind of funny now. This is what the packaging looks like. This is the Silk Priming Serum. Oh my goodness. This packaging is absolutely stunning. Now I've seen this in pictures and I've seen this in videos, but it does not do it justice. Nothing can beat this packaging. I love how the inside looks creamy because it comes in a frosted glass. The gold, I think, is what really makes this packaging look so luxurious. You are definitely paying a pretty penny for the packaging. This is the applicator, again, stunning. We'll do one side with primer and we'll let it sit for a few minutes and then we'll see how it compares to the other side. Immediately, I could tell that this product is very hydrating. I think I'm already starting to notice a difference. I feel like it already looks smoother, a little bit clearer. I think it's just kind of smoothing out the face a little bit, so it's like making me think that the pores are getting smaller. I am definitely seeing luminosity. Around this area, it looks like I have a little bit of a highlight. Also around the brow area, it looks like I have a little bit of a highlight. Compared to this side, it looks like I have a little bit of a highlight right here. This is the benefit of using really good skincare. <laughs> I see a little bit of a highlight right here, but I don't see it around here. I don't really see it on my eyebrow compared to this side. Like, look at that. This would be a nice primer just to wear alone. That's probably why they call it a serum slash a primer, meaning you can use it as a serum or a primer. I'm going to apply some to my pores to see if it will help shrink the pores a little bit. And to do that, I'm just going to dab it into the skin because this will help it to sink into the pores a little bit better compared to just gliding the product onto my skin. This serum also has a nice cooling effect to it too. So if you have like irritated skin, this might help with that. Oh wow. It definitely does look like it's minimizing my pores. This is kind of coming off like the NYX Marshmallow Primer. The only thing that the NYX doesn't do is it doesn't give off this luminous, luminous look. Your skin is hydrated, your skin is healthy. That's the effect it's giving off. And then it's also adding this brightening effect or like bit of a highlight effect as you could see across the cheek right here. Already on this side of my face, it's like a little bit more blurry. I really like it. We're gonna hop into the Gucci foundation. I'm so excited to see how this packaging looks like. I'm pretty sure it's gonna look similar to the serum. So cute. This is gonna be such a cute piece on your vanity. I'll do one side of my face, leave the other side bare. And I'm also going to do one side with the beauty blender and one side with the foundation brush. I'm using the Morphe 439. This is the best foundation brush I have ever used. So we're doing two pumps. Ooh, that's slippery. I do smell it. That's actually saying a lot because I have a really bad sense of smell. So it's safe to say that this has a pretty strong scent to it. Oof. I can't say that I like that. I can already tell that I love this. It's giving off a very strong a uh, radiant look, smoothing effect. The formula is so thin and light, it almost feels like I'm just putting a moisturizer on my skin. Let me get closer to the camera so you guys can see this. Do you see that? This is insane. I don't even need concealer. Look at this pigmentation on my eye right here. And then look at this side. Everything is just so blended in. It doesn't even really look like I have foundation on. It feels hydrating on the skin. It feels actually really comfortable, which I think is a unique for a foundation. I don't really feel it, but I feel a little bit of something and the something that I do feel feels really comfortable on the skin. If you've ever felt a product that had silicone, you know that feeling. It feels like a little bit matte and it feels so soft and just feels really good on the skin and that's what it kind of feels like. 
I think I'm only going to need one pump on this side. If you want to save some product, use a beauty blender. What do you think? Does this side look better or this side? I think this side looks way better. It just already looks even down. It looks softer than this side. This might be the most radiant, luxurious foundation I've ever tried. Look at that. I have a natural highlight. Let's go ahead and finish up our face with the Gucci Powder Eyebrow Pencil. I thought it unique of them to have an eyebrow pencil instead of a retractable uh, pencil. It makes it feel nostalgic and authentic. This is the most luxurious looking pencil I have ever seen. Ooh, do you hear that? This is a very fancy pencil. I'm assuming because we are using a pencil instead of a tractable pencil, it's gonna make it look softer. And I feel that Gucci is trying to do that, trying to make us look more natural, I guess. It's applying so much pigment to my brow, like look at that, compared to this side. It's applying so much pigment while at the same time making it look very natural. Wow. That was amazing and it made it so much easier to use. The spoolie is doing an amazing job. And I literally applied such a tiny amount of product. Because of that, I think this pencil is gonna last a really long time. I think it'll last longer than retractables because it does have a larger amount of product and I'm using very little of it. I normally don't like to go into the inner corner of my eyebrows, but for the sake of this video, I am going to do that. Okay, I have zero complaints with this eyebrow pencil. I really like this, and I felt like I would give it a 10 out of 10 because I don't find any imperfections in this. I think we'll go in with the Gucci bronzer. Ooh. Fancy. Gotta love it because it's pink. This is what it looks like. Fancy. Wish this was pink, because then it would match everything else. I don't even know how to properly use bronzer, to be honest. I think you just bronze up the face. But with my complexion, I feel like I already am bronze. That's why I don't really gravitate towards bronzers. So this is what it looks like. Very stunning, very luxurious feeling. Ooh, that'd be nice to use here, here, and then you could just brush it along here, and then brush it up here. Okay, so we're gonna try this one out. Again, it's coming with similar packaging, but I wish it was pink. There's a lot of bronzer in here. That's a lot. Okay, I'm gonna use my Fenty Matchstick to contour. And now we're gonna go in with the bronzer. And I'm just gonna bronze all the areas that I put in the contour. I don't even know how to bronze this, but I'm just gonna go like this. I'm not noticing a huge difference. This is why I don't bronze, but It'll be good because I know that it's always good to set a liquid product with a powder product. So the product I'm probably most excited for is the Gucci Multi-Use Gel Gloss. Oh, it comes in the same packaging as the foundation and serum. So cute. Ooh. Just pure gloss. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this in all the areas where I would want highlight. It kind of just feels like Vaseline. Okay, I'm gonna apply this on my lid with my finger. I've never applied gloss on my eyes, but maybe you should just dab it. I don't know if I have to get used to it, but I feel like it looked better on other people. I think it would look even better if you didn't apply any foundation on this area because it's kind of mixing in with the foundation. You can seriously put this all over your body. It doesn't feel sticky. Yeah, so I think it'd be better to apply a very tiny amount. Because this one looks so just wet, but this one looks a little bit more like a highlight. I don't know how this is working for me. And this side just has too much. I'm gonna see if I can remove some and then dab it in okay that looks better I think I just put too much and then keep dabbing it into this skin okay I like that 
Yeah, I like it. It's a natural highlight. So that is the trick. You use a very, very tiny amount and then you blend it in. That feels so nice on the lips. One of the nicest feeling lip glosses I have ever tried. We're now gonna try the Gucci mascara. The packaging is really nice. Ooh, this is a really nice bristle. The weight on this is so heavy, but I love it. This mascara actually received an Allure Award Best Winner. So apparently a lot of people are liking it. I can totally see why because I'm already noticing a huge difference in my lashes. It took about three strokes for me to notice. It's definitely lengthening. It has a nice luxurious formula. It's nicely separating the lashes so you don't have to worry too much about clumping. I love that. Again, Gucci coming off with a very natural finish. These lashes look so natural. They're very well spark spaced apart no clumping formula feels great lengthening for sure i love this wand wow i like that do you see how many coats i put on my lash i love this mascara and now i'm gonna go in with a gucci lipstick so this is sheer, it's also a buildable color. As you can see, I can get it to look a little bit deeper. So it feels very like slippery on the lips, but it has a really nice formula. I am not surprised that this feels really nice on the lips. The pigment of it is a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be as well. But overall, I really like it. I love the color. I think this color is suitable for every day. I do like it, um, but I would say that I feel like I've tried other lip products that are similar to this. And again, this was pretty expensive. So I think overall, what you're getting with this is you are getting a nice formula. And for the money, you are getting really cute packaging. So that is the complete look. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this overall look. I happen to really like it. I love the gloss and I love this whole natural look we got going on. I do think I'm going to set it with powder though because it's coming off a bit shiny. It has been about five hours now and I can say immediately that my face looks so much better the foundation looks so much better i thought i was getting dewy around this area but it's actually the gloss because i ended up applying a little bit more gloss everywhere else it's actually dry even around my nose area it's pretty dry so compared to the fenty pro matte foundation um, I'm a lot drier now than with that foundation, and that foundation is actually a matte. I feel the exact same from five hours ago. That is amazing. It has officially been nine hours since I applied this foundation, and it still looks great. Let's see if we are getting more oily. It hasn't gotten any more oily. Honestly, since the moment that I kind of dabbed around here and removed any excess oil it feels dry i'm really impressed with how um dry my face has stayed throughout the day i forgot to mention that i did apply the fenty beauty powder on top but i only applied it once i applied it immediately after i wore the foundation and then i just put like one light coat of the powder on top also the cheek area where i did apply the primer a few more times um, does definitely feel a little bit more oily. My eyebrows still look pretty much the exact same. I would say when I first checked in, they looked a little bit neater. They finally are starting to change a little bit. This side is still pretty good. The mascara is pretty much still the same. The lipstick is com has completely removed off. During the first five hours, I still saw a little bit of a stain on the lips. After I ate and everything, I saw a little bit of a stain. But now, after all these hours, it has completely been removed. That is it for this review of the new Gucci makeup line. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. I hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you in the next one. Bye!